What is going on YouTube? So today I'm gonna to be giving you guys like a little detailed review of this 2001 Dyna FXDX T-Sport. So without further ado, here we go. Like I said, it's a 2001 model. This one has some like minor modifications done to it. So um, the wheels are powder coated black, which is like a typical like Dyna Bro thing to powder coat the wheels black. Um, it also has this two in one exhaust. It's called the Thunderheader. The thing is so fucking loud. <laughs> It is probably the most obnoxious pipe you could get for a Harley Davidson, but in my opinion, I think it's the best sounding one. It also has this uh, saddleman seat, which definitely gives it like a pretty rad look. I really dig the look. It's not that, they're not that comfortable, but I mean, that's the sacrifice you get for being a Dyna bro, you know what I'm saying? So for those of you that don't know, uh, a T-Sport is pretty much exactly the same bike as an FXDX, at least mechanically. Aesthetically, they're a little different because T-Sports have this, uh, a genuine T-Sport has this unique fairing with a fully adjustable front windscreen. They also come with a really nice set of quick detached saddlebags. So the thing that's nice about these bikes, for this bike even being a 2001, it's considered to be the best handling Dyna chassis ever made. They come stock from the factory with fully adjustable front and rear suspension. They also have dual disc brakes and they're significantly lighter and narrower than like the newer Dynas. If you get on like a newer Dyna, you notice right away that there are heavier and wider than this bike, which definitely plays a big role in how the bike handles. has a little bit of motor work it has some more aggressive cams than what comes stock in it i think they're the it has the sns 510 or maybe it's 511 uh cam chest kit which adds about 15 to 20 horsepower in combination with the aftermarket pipe and the carb and shit like that is uh i think it makes 85 horsepower to the tire which is pretty good i think there's somewhere like 60 65 factory so it's pretty quick um for a harley I'd say it's not super fast, but it's definitely quick. So you can pick up a T-Sport anywhere from 7,000 to let's just say 15,000, depending on what's done to it. Um, ones with like low mileage and like really high performance motors will definitely cost you a pretty penny. I don't know what it is about this bike, but I literally feel like I'm the fucking man on this thing and I ain't shit. Let's be real here. I just wanted to thank every single one of you that stuck through that entire video and watched the whole thing. It really wasn't much of a review. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of the footage due to some technical difficulties, but hey, what are you going to do? I sold the bike probably about a couple weeks ago, so unfortunately, I can't really make any content about it but if you're thinking about buying a v1 dyna or especially a t-sport i would highly recommend one but only if it's for the right price don't buy one that's overpriced because they are very overpriced motorcycles for what they are they're badass bikes they're extremely sought after i think it's the perfect modern classic harley davidson and yeah i wouldn't hesitate to buy another one and hopefully i end up with another one just as nice as that one because that was a fucking nice ass bike but uh just for shits and giggles i'll update you on the inventory the 2000 dyna convertible it's kind of got all the Dyna Bro stunt boy parts on it. It's a pretty nice bike. I'll probably do a video about it at some time. So this is my Ninja ZX10. It's my Supermoto. Had some electrical problems. And yeah, in terms of inventory, I have, I can't sell this bike right now because I'm waiting for a title, but this is a 99 Dyna convertible. Super clean bike. I think it's got 18,000 miles. This is a 05 low rider. This is an EFI model. Not a bad looking rig. And then I have this 2000 uh, low rider. I think it's a low rider convertible actually, but but still pending sale right now. Um, 
yeah, thanks again, everyone. I hope to be making some good content pretty soon. So thanks again.